our final speaker is um, John Rees from the People's Assembly Against Austerity. There's one simple truth about this government. There's only one thing that you need to know about this government. It needs to be broken, it needs to be driven from office, it needs never to be able to mar and destroy the lives of working people for another single day. And this demonstration is the beginning of a campaign to do just that. Today's demonstration has exceeded all our expectations. There are tens of thousands of people still pouring onto it, backing up all the way to the Euston Road. Um, and we are sending a message to the government that this is the beginning of the campaign, not the end of the campaign. Yeah. <laughs> On the 10th of July, 1.5 million workers will go on strike. In August, NHS workers will march from Jarrow to London with their supporters to say that we refuse to see the destruction of the NHS. By the end of August, anti-war campaigners will be outside the NATO summit in Newport to say that we don't want to see money spent on war that could be spent saving the welfare state. And then, again, on the 18th of October, the Trades Union Congress is calling another national demonstration, which will be even bigger than this demonstration. So this is a rolling campaign of strikes, protests, demonstrations, which is going to drive this government out of office. And we want to say to the people in this building here, this is not a one-party state. This is not a tyrannical government. There is more than one opinion in this society. But the government opinion is a minority opinion. That the views of the people on this demonstration are the majority opinion. Job and report it. That's all we're asking. Do your job and report it. So we're going to be marching now in a very few minutes. We're going to be heading from the place which just acts as a megaphone for government views to the place where the government views come from and every step of the way for every single person watching us on the streets for every people who see this in the media who hear the reports who learn of the speeches who in your families and amongst your friends and your workmates and your fellow trade unionists we are saying Bring this to an end before they destroy the welfare state. It's fallen to this generation. It's fallen to this generation to defend what our fathers and our mothers and our grandfathers and our grandmothers built. Don't let them take away the one thing which has made working people's lives decent, livable in the past generation. I'll tell you this, I was the first person in my family to be born in an NHS hospital. I was the first person in my family to come home to a publicly owned council house. I was the first person in my family ever to go to university. I was the first lucky generation. I don't intend this to be the last lucky yeah! generation. this fight. We did not choose this fight. The government has brought this fight to our doorstep. But we will 
defeat them. We will use every tool, every weapon that we have at our disposal. We will take direct action. We will strike. We will protest. We will march until this disgrace of a government, this millionaire's club of a government, this eaten mess of a government, this government that knows nothing about the lives of working people is driven from office. That's what we're here for. That's what we're starting today. That's why we built the People's Assembly. Join us. March with us. Fight with us. Strike with us until we get rid of this government. Yeah! Nice one, John. Um, <laughs> Um, so there's an event that I want to plug as well, which is coming up on the 7th of July, and it should be a laugh if the people there are doing uh, their jobs right. Um, it's a stand-up uh, against austerity comedy gig, which everyone is invited to. Tickets are on sale. Check out the People's Assembly website. I want to hear you cheer if you like these people. Uh, Joe Brand. Yeah. Jason Manford. Yeah. Stuart Lee. Yeah. Jen Brister. Yeah. Shappy Koshandi. Yeah. Mark Steele. Yeah. Robin Inns. Yeah. Marcus Bristock. Yeah. Francesca Martinez. Yeah. Jeremy Hardy. Yeah. And Kate Smathway. Yeah. Okay, so if any of you cheered, you need to go buy a ticket and make sure you're there on July 7th. It's in the Apollo Theatre. All proceeds go to the People's Assembly so you can support more of these demonstrations, more of your local groups, more actions, you know, more campaigning to defend living standards, our public services and the next generation. Um, so that has been all from me pretty much. We're going to be marching off very, very soon. Uh, let's make sure this demonstration is as vibrant and loud as possible as it can be. And we're obviously going past Parliament in the end and we have to be very clear that all the people in Parliament, that is not what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks yeah. like. Yeah. No!